Hi guys and welcome to another Website X5 tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in our last video we just created this little slider here which seems to be working fine. Um, in this video what we're going to do, if you scroll down this page a little bit you'll notice this menu changes up at the top here or the, or the header. Now that's called the sticky header. So let's just adjust that so it's got the same styling as our regular header. Of course you can have it with different styling if you want to. So let's get started on that. So if we go back to our site and go to the number two, the templates here. Go down here to the middle of the page, you'll find sticky bar. And that is that that I was pointing out just now. So the background color, background color, I'm going to make white, which is the same as our other one. Like I say, you don't have to have it the same. You can make it completely different. I'm just going to make mine the same. Here I want to put our logo. So I'm going to delete their object, add an image where I want the logo, double click on it, add the contents that I want. Find the correct folder. There we go. I just pasted that logo in there, so we've got it now. And I'm going to open that one. Display wise, I don't want it to do anything. You can have mouse over effects, so I really don't want it to do anything. And you can add the image to the sitemap here, which is always a good idea, um, especially for SEO purposes. You can put in some SEO terms there, which will help your site. So I'm happy with that. Let's just position it correctly here. You can drag it like that. Or you can, as we said in earlier videos, you can use your up and down arrows on your keyboard once it's selected to put it where you want it. That's fine. Now we need to make sure it's going to display correctly on the mobile version. That's fine. And I can see we want to change the background. Those are all fine. I just want to put it down just a little. And I'm just selecting the various breakpoints over here on the left hand side, just clicking on the little dot that appears in the middle. Again, that just wants to come down a little bit. I'm just tapping my down key once I've got it selected to move it down slightly, which is fine. If we go back to general, looks like we've got to do the same thing, change the color for those different breakpoints. Again, I'm doing the same thing. That's fine. Let's go back up to our regular one. Now for our menu. I just hit that little edit button there. Background color again, I'm going to make it white. Really exciting. And our blue color that we've been using. And on mouse over, we want the blue color again. And the same with the current page. And again, you don't have to have them the same. I'm just making mine similar to what we've got in our regular menu. Let's just take a look at that. And scroll down a bit. And that's what we've got there. I think I might pull it across to the left. I can't make my mind up if I want our social icons on this particular version. Why not? Let's have. So let's pull this whole menu here over to the left. And drop it down a little bit. I pulled it up when I moved it then. That's fine. And we want to add social media. So I'm going to go to all. And 
scroll down a little bit till we find social media social icons there we are I'm going to plop that there double click on the icon to edit it and just want to add my google these are the generic ones obviously you want to put your correct social media urls in there if you want to select a different one just hit the drop down it's got a fair selection here most of the main ones that's for sure i think from what i can tell here it does just limit you to having four that should be plenty for most applications let's just put in my google plus url i've just got to copy it from my other website over here there we go and icons we want to make the same blue color perhaps and i think we had the i think they were about 40 you know we can always change that in a minute let's have a quick preview that's our regular ones let's scroll down oh missing one there oh my google plus i see i've got it too far over so that google plus has dropped down here and those are a little too big so i think they were 30. so let's just correct that Let's make those 30. Obviously, you make yours as large or as small as you wish to have them. And take another look. See if we need to move them to the left any. Okay, that's our regular one. There's our drop down. So I need to drop them down a little bit. It's fine. Pretty much fine. So I might want to move that slightly to the right and this down and slightly, well, just down a bit, I think. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as the other one, but it's pretty close. So let's check that. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to grab this, move it down. Like we said in the last video, I think the shaded area is actually where that represents where they sit. And move this slightly over to the just a little bit. And we can probably, yeah, we can make the height deeper so it's more like our other one, which was 100. But of course, we'll have to reposition our images, I believe. Yeah. If we do that, we'll have to reposition everything. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Like I say, I'm sure you get the idea. But you can manipulate it pretty well, which is a great thing. Let's take a look at that. Just hit our preview button. There we go. There we go. Now it's sliding down. It's pretty much the same as our regular menu. That logo could be a bit bigger. Make that look bigger. I'm going to drag, hit my shift key and drag that bottom corner. Make that logo a little bit bigger. We want it even bigger than that. There we go. And all I'm doing is, is grabbing a node there and just dragging it. And let's have a look now. That should do it. Regular menu. There's our sticky. Well, that's pretty close. I just want to move this over to the right. And that's slightly over the right. Like I said, I didn't want to spend too much time on this. I'm getting a little bit obsessive with it, but because uh, I do this quite often, <laughs> I do like to try and get things r r right. But like I say, it really doesn't matter too much. I'm getting a little anal there. Okay, let's take a look at that and we'll leave it there. 
So there's our regular menu. Notice occasionally the slider will stall on the preview here. It works fine on the live site, but I just shut that down again and hit the preview button again. And usually it brings it straight back up. There we go. There's our regular menu and our sticky menu. Pretty close, not bad. So I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to play with it anymore. Just make sure it's going to work on all devices here. There's this one, that's fine. That's fine. We've lost our socials. We could drag our socials back in here, but I really I'm not worried about it because you can change them on the various stars. That's fine. That's fine too. It's back there. So on our 1149 to 720, which is right here. I see we lost our socials and we can move them here and it won't affect where they are in the other viewports. So I want to take that down a little bit. If we look at that viewport, it's still over to the right hand side there, whereas this one's now here. And this one. Could put it in there, it might be a bit cramped. So I'm probably going to just leave it off. And if you want something to disappear completely, just select what you want and hit the show and hide. And you can hide it in the viewport for that particular style. So let's take a last look and we're done. OK, that one was fine. The one we changed. Oh, that was, was the one we changed. OK, so there's the regular. There's that one. We've got it back there. It's fine. And on the smaller one, it's not there at all, which I'm quite happy with because it's going to be too much for that small viewport, I believe. So good. I'm happy with that. Just click on that and it's all gone. So there you have it. There's how to organize your sticky menu, which is this drop down menu. That's great if you've got a, a transparent menu on the first page, if you've got something interesting going on here with some with some text because once you get down to the next section it can uh, interfere with it if it's transparent but again you don't have to have it the same you can have them completely different i was just doing that the same x5 is great software it's it's an alternative to wordpress and bootstrap and html if you want to try it out you can try it out from a demo link below this video or you can buy the full version from my affiliate link down there too so once again I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great web development courses covering Bootstrap and WordPress and all kinds of things down there. We've got some free courses and we've got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.